So each class has uniques and we know that there are certain enemy types in Diablo 4 that do have increased chances of dropping said uniques. Today we check them all out. All universal uniques, items that can drop across the board and work for every character class. What uniques these are, the enemies which have increased chances of dropping them and in my opinion the best dungeons you should be farming for specific pieces. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so when it comes to farming specific dungeons to get specific uniques to drop, any dungeon is fine in reality as long as it beholds that certain said enemy type. But if you can roll a nightmare dungeon with that magic finds modifier on, that's definitely the best way due to this modifier allowing the dungeon to drop more loot for you. Also guys, if there is a specific class you're looking for your uniques on, all videos will be linked down below. Okay, so it's important to note that any jewelry, so amulets and rings, do not have increased drops at the moment from any specific enemy type. Okay, so the Melted Heart of Selig, the Mother's Embrace and the Ring of Starless Skies, these are all jewelry pieces that are universal unique items which do not have any increased drops from any specific monster type, so keep that in mind. Okay, so let's start and start off with the Andereal's Visage. Now keep in mind guys, this is an ultra rare item. This item has dropped for maybe a couple people in the world. It's world tier 4 only and it only drops from enemies, monster levels of 85 plus. So keep that in mind. You can be a lower level but if you're fighting against enemies that are 85 plus, you still have that rare chance of this dropping for you. Okay, so this item has increased drop chances from cultists and cannibals. Okay, so the best cultist dungeons in my opinion, we have Conclave, great, great dungeon. We have the Serpent's Lair and we have the Shadowed Plunge. All three of these dungeons will give you multiple cultist enemies. I mean, again, this item's super, super rare. You're going to be grinding your ass off to try and get this one, but those are the dungeons, in my opinion, to best farm for this. Dungeons which feature those cannibals, I'd go with the Gulran Slums, Earthen Wound, and the Car Now House. These are three great dungeons too, which have plenty of those cannibal type enemies within them. So yes guys, if this is the item you're chasing, good luck with that one. Next up guys, we have another ultra rare item, the Doombringer. Again guys, I don't know if anyone in the world has even had this one drop yet. It's a world tier 4 only, monster level needs to be at 85 plus only. Okay, so increased drop chances from snakes, skeletons and beasts. So there's quite a few enemies you can farm for this one, but hey again, getting this drop best of luck to you okay so skeleton dungeons i go with zenith uh, the core dragon barracks and demon's wake demon's wake's my favorite here but again all three of these are great great dungeons with plenty of those skeleton enemies within them snake dungeons we have the serpent's lair the witch water and shadowed plunge there are a few others but these are my three main ones i would farm for this but hey and then we have beasts okay so blind bells is definite alderwood is great too more wood alders cave and haunted refuge all of these dungeons are absolutely great i mean i can't tell you how many times i farmed all of these multiple times for enemies way over level 85 i haven't had a sniff of this doom bringer i mean it is that rare guys best of luck in trying to get this one next up guys we have the fist of fate this one isn't so rare so this one has increased drop chance from spider enemies. Okay, so the dungeons you want to be farming here. So we have the blind burrows, the Gurun canals, the whispering pines, and the champion's demise. All four of them have tons of spider enemies within them. Pick and choose guys, farm away. Do what you gotta do. So next up guys, we have the Harley Quinn crest, another ultra rare item i think there's three people four people in the world now that may have this maybe a couple more again ultra rare world tier 4 only monster level again is to be at 85 plus only okay so it has increased drop chances from cultists and cannibals okay so cultist dungeons conclave serpent slayer and shadow plunge three great great dungeons for this enemy type cannibal dungeons we have Gulran slums Earth and Wound and Carnal House. Again, three more great dungeons for that cannibal enemy type. 
Again though, this is an ultra rare item, so good luck in chasing this one. Next up guys, we have the Penitent Greaves. This has an increased drop chance from drowned enemies. Okay, so the Haunted Refuge is a great dungeon, the Dead Man's Dredge, great dungeon, the Putrid Aquifier, and the Vault of the Forsaken. These are all great dungeons where you should experience and come across many of that drowned enemy type. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Razor Plate. So this has increased drop chances with beasts and spiders. So are those beast dungeons, blind burrows, Alderwood, Moorwood, Alder's Cave and Haunted Refuge. Four amazing dungeons, plenty of beasts within these, so get farming them. Spider dungeons, we have the blind burrows, the Gurun Canals, the Whispering Pines and the Champion's Demise. Again, another four incredible dungeons just to farm either way. If you can land these with that Magic Find modifier on, your chances are going to absolutely drastically increase. But yes, do what you got to do, guys. Go get this thing. Next up, guys, we have the Temerity. This also drops from those drowned enemy types. Again, best dungeons for these, in my opinion. Haunted Refuge, Dead Man's Dredge, the Putrid Aquifier, and the Vault of the Forsaken. Try these out, guys, and try your luck. Next up, guys, we have the Butcher's Cleaver. Okay, so this drops from fallen enemies, goatmen and cannibals, but it does have increased chances for those fallen enemies. Okay, so fallen dungeons, we have the Ancient's Lament, Demon's Wake and Conclave. If I was farming this one and this is the item I was chasing, I'd probably pick one of those dungeons. But again, it also drops from goatmen and cannibals, so goatmen dungeons, we have Champion's Demise, Mercy's Reach, Shifter Ruins and a Hoarfrost Demise. For great dungeons, for goatmen, just pick one, farm away. Or Cannibal Dungeons, guys, we have the Gulran Slums, the Earthen Wound, and Carnal House. Again, three more great dungeons, but do what you gotta do. Again, though, if I was farming this, I'd pick one of the Fallen Dungeons, because again, it's got increased drop chances from that Fallen enemy. So I'd go with either Ancient's Lament, Demon's Wake, or Conclave. Okay, so lastly today, guys, we have the Grandfather. This is another ultra rare item. World Tier 4, Monster Level needs to be 85 plus only okay so this one has increased drop chances from vampires and spiders okay so there's vampire dungeons we've got zenith core dragon barracks and the heathens keep these are three decent dungeons i'm not gonna lie but if i was gonna farm this one i'd pick spider enemies and the spider dungeons you want to be well concentrating on the blind burrows the gurun canals the whispering pines and the champion's demise these all have massive amounts of spider enemies within them so if this is one you want to farm do what you gotta do try and get the modifier of magic find on and farm away guys but good luck in trying to get the grandfather i think under 10 people in the world have got this thing so yes but there we have it guys those are the uniques that are universal across the board that can drop and work for any character class within diablo 4 Guys, if you've enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.